Hi, I'm Alice Murray from OverTheMoonRibbons.com. Today we're going to decorate a gorgeous Christmas tree. I'm going to use some beautiful ribbons and you will be able to do the same thing and it really will give a beautiful look to your tree. I've already placed the lights on the tree because that's the first thing you should do. And there are a few decorations, but it is not finished. I first want to show you some of the bows that you can make to make it a little different than just tying a regular bow. However, there's nothing wrong with just tying a regular shoestring bow, just like you would tie on your shoes. Then here is another bow that's a nice full double loop bow. Here I've done a double loop bow and added a little accoutrement in the middle. This is a little sparkly fruit. Another double loop bow and another color. Now I'm going to quickly show you how to make a double loop bow using the velvet ribbon. There's one loop. Gather in the middle. Very important. That's the most important part, gathering in the middle. Now I want to turn it to the correct side, so I just give it a twist behind, make the loop a little bit bigger. It's already on the right side. Now I will leave a little tail on the bottom, cut, and I had already pre-cut this little piece, adding that in. Now you'll have three little tails sticking down. One, two, three. Now I use chenille stems. You can use wire, but I find chenille stems much easier to work with. And the, the important part now is to not let that bow slip and make it tight as you can possibly make it. Now, I don't like straight cut edges. I want to fishtail my edges. And you can make them all the same length or you can vary your lengths. I tend to vary. I don't know why, I just do. There we go. And then you can either glue your little accoutrement into the center, or you can just place it in the tree as is. And because I'm using a green chenille stem, you aren't going to see that because the tree is green. Also, because the tree is green and I'm decorating in green, I've made it very sparkly, very shiny. That helps. Uh, I, I think you can always get away with using a light color if you add some shine and, and sparkle to it. Now there's some naturalists out there, I know, that don't want to see any sparkle or shine. And you can you do a plaid ribbon or a, a country check ribbon. And just be sure you put lots of lights on your tree and then it'll show up very nicely. Now I'm going to show you how to do a little spiky bow. This is one. It's kind of a faux poinsettia. I've cut a point on each of the ends. I think you can see that that's a point and I saved that one so that you can see the point is cut the opposite way of the fishtail. So I have three, four, four long ones and four short ones. I'm going to add, just put them together, one on top of the other. I'm going to squeeze them together in the middle. Then I'm going to take four short ones. They're just a hair shorter, about two inches shorter than the ones I just cut. And just Sometimes it's easier just to take them individually and squeeze them together in the middle. This is really simple. You don't even have to know how to make a bow. And then, again, the important part, chenille stem, attach really, really tight, as tight as you can pull it. Again, you could add some little Christmas balls in the center. You could add a little bit of fruit. You could add anything you want, or you don't have to add a thing to it. Okay, now we're going to move to the other side of the tree. And I want to show you how we bring those streamers down through the tree. We are using toile, green and white toile. We're using Luxor ribbon in silver and in green. And it does make for a better look with the wired ribbon. And then I use my trusty chenille stems. Every time I wanted to attach the ribbon, I take a chenille stem. I cut these in half. You can get these at any craft store. They're not hard to find at all. And then I just attach it in squeeze it together, and then at the juncture, it's nice to add a little ornament. Here's a bow that I made. Here's a piece of, I guess they're grapes. Here's a piece of ribbon that needs to be attached. So again, just you can twirl it. You could give it a little curl if you like. And it needs to be attached up in here too. So let's attach it there first. And then we'll be able to twirl and twist and do whatever we want, and we get down to the, the lower branch. Now I'm just attaching this 
firmly down here. And I'm going to take one of our bows that we made over here, this one, and I'll attach him right in there. So now you don't see any of the pipe cleaner. Again, I'm going to do this fishtailing, which means cut away from you, not towards you. When you have a wired ribbon, this is a nice way to finish too. Especially if it's a nice, thick, heavy ribbon. This one can be either fishtailed, like I just showed you, or we can roll it, which is very simple. And you just take and roll it under so you won't see the raw edge. Now you can just take lengths of ribbon. They don't, you don't have to make a bow out of it or anything. Take, take a length of your chenille stem and just find some bare spots where you'd like to have some ribbon coming through. So there's a nice spot there. You could even, I think I'm going to move it over to where the other one is attached so that it looks like it's coming from the same location. You can email me and tell me anything that you see that you will not find in my website and I can tell you either where to get it or I can get it for you, whichever you prefer. This one's called Anastasia Green Ice and it's a nice sheer ribbon with silver in it. The light will shine through it, your ornaments will show through. So shears are very good to use at Christmas time. People think of them as only a spring or summer ribbon. I find them definitely universal year round. And they come in all kinds of colors. And now I'm just shaping it into the tree. And I will attach with chenille stems. I just want to see where I want to put it. Because if you don't like it there, it can easily be changed if it's not all wired in. All right, now we're down to the bottom of this one. I can fishtail it or roll it. I think I'm choosing to roll it. And it gives a nice finished edge. Now I'm going to take some of the pre-done bows that I showed you in the beginning and just place them on the tree and we will have an almost fully decorated tree. So many people tend to decorate their tree on the outside and they forget that there's an inside and then it looks very flat. Don't be afraid to go deep into your tree. That gives it depth. It makes it look beautiful. Again, it's wired so you can shape it any shape you want once you get, get it in there. Fluff it up. I just wanted to show you that you don't have to always use the wired ribbon. Because it's a bright green, it shows up nicely too. The tree is more of a hunter and this is a nice bright green, which helps. We have two more shoestring bows. We're going to go deep with those. I attach this onto our little silvery branch that I have. Now we have more sparkly stuff. Don't be afraid if you have something on a branch like this to just weave it into the tree. I've used feathers, anything like that. And you don't, you don't have to attach it as long as it's not going to fall on the floor or something. And I happen to love these. And I made one is quite large, so I cut it in half and made two out of it. I've used these little unicorn looking icicles, very sparkly. Another rule of thumb, and I do this with floral design too, is the smaller ornaments go on the top. You want to use the smaller things up at the top and then graduate down to the big things. If you have really big ornaments, sink them deep into the tree. Don't have them hanging here on the outside. And then you can have the, the smaller towards the outside. So just remember the bigger goes deep or low the smaller on the top or on the outside. You now know how to decorate a beautiful tree. I can hardly wait for you to send me the pictures of what you've done because you're going to get totally creative and send me some very interesting combinations and I want to see them. So 